How you doing? Awesome. Ah, I can't complain. All set. See you in an hour or so. What's going on, guys? We are here at West Point loading up a... Uh, we're going to be loading up nine cars heading on up to South Charleston. Should be a uh, pretty quick turn. This is a this is the end of my week this week. Um, I'm going on vacation, so I'll be working late. Probably get home Saturday evening. But we got... Uh, I'm taking all next week off. Um, just got to get some stuff around the house done. We're going to be... Uh, we're going to put the fencing up for pigs and goats for next year this is uh gonna be a training yard for them but uh let's go ahead and get loaded up here at west point and i will see y'all in just a couple minutes morning guys we got loaded up last night with this uh load out of kia again we're heading up to south charleston i'm going to make this semi quick because it's starting to rain but uh they were able to fix my load a little bit um, coming out of, uh, what's the name of it? Coming out of Marysville, the Honda load. Uh, I originally had a grand total of, I think it was nine total stops, two loads, two loading stops, and seven delivery stops. Um, starting in Bristol, Tennessee, fitting, finishing in Chattanooga. I think I was hitting every single uh, East Tennessee and Southern Tennessee Honda or Acura dealer, but they got it fixed. Um, now I'm just going to everything in East Tennessee from Morristown, the two in Johnson City, Kingsport, Bristol. Um, we don't have one in Greenville, so I'm not going to. I'm not going there, but uh, I'm still going to all the dealerships, which is what it is. But we're going to get this taken on up to uh to south charleston we're going to get it delivered this has been another spectacular week this load right here pushes me up to eleven thousand on the ground for the week and i still have another twenty five hundred dollar load coming back so it is going to be a pair of awesome weeks like i said before um my last video it looks like if the bonuses land um next week like i think they will um we will be uh, will be getting pretty close to. I think when I did the math last night, it was like an eighty-four hundred dollar paycheck. That's awesome. We're happy. We're gonna get delivered, and we're gonna try to uh, to make it up there safely today. So I'll see you guys when we get up to uh, South Charleston. All righty, we're just getting down here to uh, Dutchtown Kia here in uh, South Charleston. Uh, well, I was going to try to make that turn, but um, if, you know, if you haven't been here before, this turn, you kind of do it out here in this lane because uh, normally there will be a car at the stoplight right up here. And, well, you get real close jumping this curb to uh, actually getting into that uh, light pole if, uh, if there's someone parked right here. So let's go ahead and swing in right here. And um, this is this is actually one of my favorite dealerships to come to, and uh, this one here we actually back in out back here. So make we we go to the what you guys are looking at the right, and then uh, we got a couple cars here, so we'll let them go by, and all all we do so that way uh, we can get out of here easily. As we turn around and pull this way and then back in across the street. So, okay, get going to do that right now. Alright, so we just back through the stop sign and back in along the back of their parking lot. I used to actually stop right there next to the CVS, but one of their guys came out one day. I was unloading 10 out here. He came out and was like, you know you can back in out back, right? So, I've been doing that ever since because it saves you about a, uh, I'd say the better part of a mile's worth of walk-in by the time you get to, uh, 
offloading all nine, ten of your cars. But just keep checking both mirrors back and forth because it is a car dealership. So you kind of got to make sure no one decides to pull in behind you and cut you off. So swing in. I'll show you guys in a second where we park. If you've watched a bunch of my videos, you've probably seen it before because I normally come here at least a couple times a month. Like I said, one of my favorite places. They're, uh, they're a really good dealership. Really good people here. Um, I will say, if you're buying a car, if you're looking to buy a Kia, come over to this one. Tell them uh, Car Carrier TV sent you if you're up here in the West Virginia area. Because like I said, they've always been real decent to me. And uh, yeah, if you're going to be good to me, I'll try to be good to you. And this is where we park. Go ahead, go on duty, and let's go get loaded. I'll show you where we drop the cars, and then I'll set you guys up so you guys can see uh, everything come off, and we're heading over to Ohio tonight, so hopefully it won't be uh, a bad trip over there. It's been raining the entire way up here, so I'm hoping it'll be a nice drive that way, and we can get out of this uh, rain that we've been in literally all day long. All right, so you can see this is where we park. The guys are normally here that uh, inspect the vehicles. And you just pull them up right over here next to the side of the building. It's it's a pretty easy uh, dealership to, uh, to deliver to, like I said, one of my favorites. But I'm going to go ahead and get everything set up so that way uh, you guys can watch. And let's get offloaded. morning folks we're uh <clears throat> just getting our day started we're on our way over to marysville it's like five miles that way um just uh just gonna run over we gotta go load our oh, my beard's my face um we gotta go load up uh i think it's a five five stopper to east tennessee we have to get that offloaded tonight um, because we go on vacation next week, and, uh, if I don't get everything, down right here, if we don't get everything offloaded tonight, then, uh, I'm gonna have to work on Monday. Don't really want to do that. Plan on, uh, taking our kids uh, to Dollywood, Dave and Buster's, down to, uh, Sevierville, which isn't far from our house, but we haven't been this year. We normally try to go five, six, seven times a year, but uh, we got season passes and everything. This has just been kind of a off year and haven't been able to go much. So I'm going to try to take the kids next week while they're on their fall break and uh Go start doing some Dollywood, some Sevierville stuff. We were going to go camping. Not going to have the money for that, like I said. Had the ear uh, hearing aids. So after this next check, all that's behind us, so you won't hear about it anymore. You don't have to worry about none of that stuff. But, uh, yeah, just wanted to uh, – or just, we, just, we, just got had to, uh, we just had to get that all paid for and – just a little, a little shy right now of, of having the funds. Uh, we ended up canceling our trip to Panama City, which is what we were going to take the kids originally for. So I took off months ago, but it is what it is. Life gets you. Ain't gonna, ain't gonna complain about it. We're gonna finish this load, and uh, and we, like I said, we did have a killer, killer week. The next paycheck that we get is going to cover everything. We back on track for uh for life i guess but 
Let's head on over to uh, Honda. Let's get all of our stuff, uh, get our logbooks going. Let, uh, let the truck warm up, shut the truck down, check the oils, listen for air leaks, all of that. Also, guys, I don't know if any of you guys are, but I have started a Rumble account. I'm also posting these videos over there. If you're on there, go watch them. Tell me what you think. Um, I'm, I'm just, just testing it. I don't know how their system goes. Um, you can find me there. You can also find me on Truth Social, um, posting this content on there as well. But uh, if, if you do like this kind of stuff, please hit the like button and subscribe. Let's go get loaded up. I'll see y'all in just a minute. We just finished uh, loading up here in uh, at Honda, and we are finally on our way home. Just backing out of the parking spot here. Gonna go uh, start making our way back. It's only uh, shows me right now leaving Honda. I got 410 miles in my house, so not that long of a trip. That leaves me about 150 miles worth of time to get everything delivered and get everything uh, sent over. Uh, or, yeah, gives me just about enough time to get everything delivered and, uh, and make it home for the end of the week. We have 11 hours and 41 minutes total on our 70-hour clock. Like I said, it's been a good week. We've hustled. These are these are the kind of weeks that I really enjoy. Um, this this is this is where you start making your money. We've done so far two thousand nine hundred thirty eight miles on the week. Oh, hang on one second here. There you go. Two thousand nine hundred thirty eight. Just a little too far away from the. Uh, away from the gate here to leave but uh yeah no these these are the weeks that i truly enjoy these are 
These are the weeks where you're just busy from the absolute start to finish of the week. Just a non-stop hustle. And like I said, those are the weeks that you make good money. Those are also the weeks that I feel like I've accomplished something. So probably be just shy of... Have a good day. Probably be just shy of 3,500 miles on the week. So thumbs up. That is, that is what we're looking for. So, so we're going to turn around and uh, make this trip home. Hope you guys had a great week as well. Let's, uh, let's get back down to Tennessee and get these things delivered. I will see you guys as we get closer. Alrighty, I don't know how well this is going to show up, but uh, just getting over here into Moorestown, Tennessee, to start making our deliveries for this evening. We got to uh, drop these, uh, I, got, I think I got two cars from Moorestown here, get these dropped off here, and then uh, head on up to Kingsport and deliver a couple more up there. So, this is drop number one. I would do the Bristol and uh, Johnson City tonight, but the Bristol one definitely uh, won't be able to do that. They got a gate across their dealership, so there will be no night drop there. But, we are going to go ahead and get these things dropped. I'll show you what the load looks like in a second. Alrighty, so I know it looks much later than it actually is. It's all actually only like uh, 7, I think like 7.15, 7.20 when I just got here. It is obviously dark out if you can't tell. Still a little bit of the uh, uh, sunset over there. But we are here in Morristown. We loaded up this morning in Ohio. We could deliver the entire load tonight if um, Bristol didn't have a gate across the dealership. So we won't be dropping that one off. But this is what we have on. Uh, that one goes to Johnson City. Uh, these, uh, nope, these two go to, okay, start over. That one goes to Acura and Johnson City. These two go to Honda and Johnson City. These two go to Bristol, um, uh, Brist Honda of Bristol. And then that one and that one come here to Morristown. So what I'm going to do, unload these bottom two and then uh, just put that one back on. I can leave this one up high enough to get that, that one off the back. So I'll leave this one on. It's not a big deal. But I'll unload these two, drop both of those here, put that one back on the top back. Both of these cars go to Kingsport. I'm going to be dropping the Kingsport off tonight as well. So we are going to try to get done. So I think I have like two hours and 40 minutes left on my 70-hour work week. So it's been a big one. At the end of this video, if you guys are curious, I am going to post what we actually made this week. This has been a... This has been one heck of a week of hustles, so we made really, really good money. Happy about that. I will post that at the very end. Also, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel. If this is the kind of stuff you like, put a comment down below. Let me know what you think, and let's get these things offloaded. morning folks we uh, just got in the truck this morning it is cold it is really cold this morning for me anyways uh it's like uh what does that say 42 degrees this morning so a little chillier than it has been uh 
kind of drastic change from the 90s it was last week to uh, 40s today. But, uh, yeah, guess it's fall. So, oop, wrong password. Hang on. Get this logged in. Start my logbook. Um, it is Monday morning. We did not get to uh, finish delivering these Hondas on Saturday like we wanted to. I was going to make it into uh, into Kingsport. It was going to be almost, I think it was like 1030 when I was going to make my delivery there. And then be about 45 minute drive home. I didn't want my wife having to come pick me up at like 1130 at night with the kids. So I just ran home. So this morning we have a Kingsport, a Johnson City, or sorry, we are going to Kingsport, then Bristol, then Johnson City. Uh, when we get done with those deliveries, we will be heading uh, over and dropping this truck off. I, again, I'm supposed to be off this week. So we are going to be heading over to uh, Worldwide Equipment there in Johnson City, drop the truck off. It has a knock sensor that keeps, uh, I guess, it, it keeps sending a signal that it's out of parameter. So we're going to go ahead and drop it off at the dealership, let them repair that. Which will be good, so that way next week when we start, we're going to be running for a few weeks before Christmas, and uh, and hopefully uh, we'll be running real strong for a few weeks before Christmas. Hopefully no breakdowns, and we can continue trying to make decent money before the end of the year here. So just going to finish getting logged in. I'm going to see you guys on the road. I'm going to get a cup of coffee and uh, get some fuel, and I will see you all in just a minute. All right, so I left my sunglasses at home, so I guess I'm going to be blind today. It's uh, definitely bright out, but I guess we're going to shut down the road uh, while we unload this one Acura, or Acura, uh, Accord. Normally, we pull in down there at the other end of their parking lot, but they got cars parked over there, so to unload one. I guess we'll just go ahead and shut the road down for five minutes, and then it's pretty simple. You just back straight across. There's a little turn in road right there. You back straight across and pull back out. Nice and easy. It's not a very busy road or area, I guess. So, fingers crossed we don't piss anybody off here in the next couple minutes, but uh, we're going to go ahead and drop into the cars. All right, so yeah, you can see right here, just kind of back across the street here. And I guess technically we're not supposed to go out this way, but uh, we're kind of have to because we're facing the wrong direction. So all we do is just swing out over here, wait for the road to open up, which doesn't take usually very long. There's one more car coming. I'll let this one pass, and then I usually just hit the uh, uh, center turning lane right here, and then wait for a spot for me to get out on the uh, driver's side, and then 
that and then after that we'll be on our way up to Bristol so we just time traffic here turn our blinker on and there's a good amount of traffic coming so we're gonna wait a second and last car let's go all right on our way over to Bristol I will see you guys when we get over there all right we are just getting over here to uh, to Bristol we're actually sitting right across the street just a second from the uh, Bristol Speedway, which this is actually where I met my wife, was right here. She was from this little uh, little city of Bristol here in Tennessee. You can see right over there, uh, maybe. Oh, there it is. The, yeah, you can see right over there is the racetrack. Um, I'll post some uh, videos from our... I'll post some photos from over there that's actually a, uh, me and my wife actually spent many uh, NASCAR races at that track. I'm not a giant NASCAR fan personally, but we uh, we did sit at that track and stay in the, uh, in the suites there on a couple different occasions. I'll throw some photos up of that. Um, cool race, that is definitely... If I was a giant NASCAR fan, that would definitely be one of my uh, favorite racetracks to watch. I just, I don't know, stopped. Uh, I stopped enjoying that sport probably 15 years ago, and I tried a couple times to get back into it, and just can't seem to, can't seem to get into it. So, kind of giving up on it. But we're uh, we're just getting over here. Honda is about a half mile ahead of us. So I'll see you guys when we get in over there. And uh, we got to drop three cars here in Bristol and then head over to Johnson City and drop three cars over there. So almost done for the week. I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, so we just got here to Bristol uh, Honda. So you can see dealerships right down there. I normally just park the cars right over here. Um, I don't come here enough to actually have this whole place memorized on how to uh, or where to put everything. So that's kind of where I stick them and then have them uh, come out and inspect. So let's go ahead and get these things offloaded. They're getting these three right here. And uh, we'll take but a couple minutes. We'll have them all on the ground and we'll be on our way up to Johnson City. You guys all right? I uh, guess you guys fell. I guess that wasn't the uh, best spot to put that. So we'll try to find someplace else to set you guys up. Just finishing up our very last drop here in Johnson City. The Honda dealership is just on the other side of the building here. Acura is right here. We park in this little 
drive lane right here and then take them across the street. They usually get parked right up along that back wall over there. So, oh, climb in here. And uh, so, we uh, just finishing up our week finally. This was, uh, this was supposed to be on the ground last week. We tried and tried and tried to get it there before I ran out of time on Saturday. It didn't happen. So, we are finishing up the delivery here on Monday, which isn't bad. The cars aren't late, but uh, either way, they had to get delivered. We're taking the truck in after this, and uh, and we made very, very, very good money this week. So, we're very happy about that. Next week, obviously, well, this week that I'm in right this very second, um, I'm off. So, not going to make anything this week, but... I'm going to go drop this car off, and then I'll tell you what we actually uh, did to make that paycheck, all the loads that we did, and what the total figure is on the week. It was good. I'm happy, and I will see you all in just a second. All righty, so I appreciate you guys watching the vlog today. Um, I hope you guys got something from it. This is just what a normal, I guess, week is going to kind of look like. This is just a simple, single round. I try to make two of these every week, um, but... This is this is pretty much what it consists of day to day. Um, you guys kind of got to see the entire thing, but um, I guess what where I want to leave this is one what we made this week again. This was an absolute banger of a week, one of the uh, the better ones we had. And obviously, if you guys saw the last video. It was a banger of two weeks uh both last week and this week were absolutely amazing some of the best that uh that you get um united road does have a lot of weeks like this a year so it's not that it's uh an oddity but it doesn't happen every week like i said before about once or twice a month or uh once every uh one to two months you might get a uh a really good turn like this and uh and that's that, that's what what you can expect with holland cars but um what we made this week was uh was three thousand five hundred twelve dollars in my actual paycheck that consisted of two full turns that was running down to georgia on monday loading up uh, that was a load to Barbersville, West Virginia. Dropped that one off. I think the the up hauls were in the like 625, 645 range of piece, which is where they where they average. So we'll just say 625 going up, and then uh, the Georgia load uh, or the load that we took down to Georgia out of Michigan. We ran up uh, Monday night, made it most of the way to Michigan. Tuesday morning we loaded. Got that one down to Georgia on Wednesday. Delivered that. That was that paid me sixteen hundred and change. So that that is like I said, one of those oddity loads that is just absolutely amazing. And uh, and we pray to get those as often as possible. So that that's where this week really, really, really came together. Otherwise, this would have been just a standard twenty five hundred dollar week for my paycheck wise this isn't what the trucks get but what my paycheck is so drop that one south put us just over two thousand dollars on the week uh, actually that would have been like twenty two twenty three hundred dollars on the week if my math's correct in my head um then we ran back over to kia got there uh wednesday night reloaded and got up to uh then, yeah, then we got up to West, uh, got reloaded and then got up to West Virginia on, uh, on Thursday, got that delivered, got all the way over to, uh, Ohio on, no, I'm a, I'm a day early. So we ended up getting delivered. So we, we ended up delivering Georgia, uh, Thursday morning reloaded out of West Point on... I'm just going to start over here. So, yeah, we got over to Michigan Wednesday morning and got reloaded, got that... Uh, got down almost to Georgia Wednesday night, 
Thursday morning delivered in Georgia, ran over to West Point, got reloaded, and made it up to Calhoun, Georgia, Thursday night. Friday morning, ran up to South Charleston, got delivered, and got almost, I mean, literally, we were like four minutes short of making it into uh, into the Honda plant there in Marysville, Ohio. So ended up loading Saturday morning in Ohio. Um, got back. You guys saw that one delivery Saturday evening in uh, in Morristown, and that one going up to Ohio or going up to West Virginia. That was like six thirty-five to me, and the load coming back down was like six twenty-five, six thirty from Marysville down here to get this delivered to finish out our week of making $3,512. That is what is available, guys. If you want to join a company like United Road, please use me as your referral link. And uh, if I'm, especially if I'm the reason you came over, if you've been watching these videos and that makes you want to haul cars, please, please, please use me as your referral. And guys, I will see you not this week, but the week after. I love you, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye.